We are talking milk this morning with so many different choices available to us. It can be very hard to know what to choose and which is the better option for you. Milk, just regular soy, almond, rice. There are so many different options. There's even other ones. There's coconut milk, That's there's right. oat milk, flax milk. The list goes on. It's true. So Andrea <laughs> Hallwagner is a registered dietitian. She's here to break it all down for us. Thanks so much for being here, Andrea. Glad to be here. Why don't we go through some of the options first? Of course, you've got just your regular milk here. Sure, your regular milk. I brought a lactose-free milk as okay. well, which is, yep. of course, an appropriate um, choice. If you do have a lactose intolerance, great thing to try out. Right. And then, of course, I brought in a calcium-fortified rice milk, um, your soy milk, your almond milk here. Okay. And when we're trying to figure out which one is better, really the answer comes down to a lot of personal choice. There's not right. one that's necessarily superior. It depends a lot on your food philosophy, whether sure. you're vegetarian or not. And what you can handle, just like you said, like sure. you may be lactose intolerant. Sure. You might not Absolutely. be able to have. So you don't necessarily even have a recommendation. That's what it comes down the to. Biggest, it's all individual, right? Again, if I look at food philosophy, and I'm a foodie, a foodie. most of you yeah. that have seen me on air, I'm like passionately happy to eat foods right. in its most natural form. And so for me, milk is going to be my top choice. Okay. Because when you look on the ingredients, the ingredients are milk. Right. When you look at, uh, look at our, our other options here, if you think about it, an almond or a soybean, edamame bean, or rice had to be heavily processed to actually get put into a liquid beverage okay. and then calcium fortified because they're not naturally uh, occurring there. Okay, let's talk about the almond milk that's mm -hmm. really quick right here on this side. You have a concern about it in the sense that the protein isn't very high in there too, right? And a lot of parents are giving this to the kids realize, not realizing that the nutritional value isn't really there for them, You right? got it. So sometimes when we look at milks, especially for younger kids, we've got to always be cognizant that mm -hmm. just because it looks like milk doesn't mean the nutrition, yes. whether it's the protein or in some cases if it's not calcium fortified. I know, for example, with rice milk, you can buy some that's unfortified. Yeah. So very, very low. And you know what I like about this one, they've at least flagged on the top. This is a low protein source, okay. just so the parents know between your almond milks and your rice milks, not a lot of protein. Good soy indicator. milk has the, the um, benefit of having similar amounts of protein to your regular milk. But then I said I saw soy milk. I've, I've just heard so many negative things about estrogen rates and links to breast cancer. A lot of people have been pretty critical about soy milk. You know, when you do hear that, so in soy, in general, we've got what's called called isoflavone, which is a natural phytoestrogen, which mm. sounds really scary. But when you yeah. think about how it actually works in the human body, it is very different. Okay. It's, it's similar but different in the way that it works. And the dose is so, so very minimal. So even we know um, infant boys that have been fed an exclusive diet of soy uh, infant formula, which is a, a huge amount of soy, we don't see developmental differences in their okay. growth and development. Okay. So my recommendation is if you do have cancer, I wouldn't go out of my way to, to consume huge amounts of soy protein powders and lots of soy milk, but the odd um, you know, edamame soybean or a glass of soy milk is not certainly not going to be an issue. The big thing for people when even having milk in the first place, of course, is for calcium, right? So w is there a better source for calcium rates over another when it comes to different types of milks? Or you know what? what? You All recommend? of these products are fortified to okay. have approximately 300 milligrams of calcium. But what's interesting to note is the amount of calcium in a food and the amount you absorb are two different things. Oh, interesting. Okay. And so, so from a calcium absorption perspective, your milks, your lactate-free milks, going to be the top for calcium absorption. And in things like your almond milk, your soy milk, or we were talking about veggies, so yes. things like your leafy greens, your spinach, your broccoli that are good sources of calcium, right. um, they have what's called oxalates and phytates, which naturally interfere with calcium absorption, meaning oh. we're going to get a little less out of them. And what did you tell me? Because I don't even drink milk. First of all, you're like, you got to get on a supplement. You got to get the, I know. this baby and then is I, taking I, all the <laughs> calcium from your bones. Girl. I know, I know. But then I said, no, but I eat kale and I do my thing. And what did you say I would have to eat in a, in a full day to actually so get the equivalent, you'd need over seven cups of spinach to wow. be the equivalent of one cup of milk. I'm definitely not doing that. And we know for an adult, so between the ages of 19 to 50, we're after about a thousand milligrams of calcium per day, which is about three servings of you know, three cups of a okay. calcium fortified um, milk or three quarters of a cup of yogurt or an okay. ounce and a half of cheese would be a serving. And quickly, mm -hmm. what is your take on chocolate milk? I don't see chocolate milk here. I, you could probably turn me around if there was As chocolate the milk. chocolate nutrition. You yes. know what's so funny is that people are okay buying vanilla and strawberry yogurts, right. but they're not okay buying a chocolate milk, which well, is it okay? if you think about it, it's the same. Okay. Plain yogurt, plain milk, 
Fruit flavored yogurt and chocolate milk okay. are, you know, slightly sweetened. Of course, if you like the plain ones, great. But, uh, you know, certainly one way to get your calcium in. Gotcha. Excellent. Thank you so much, Andrea, for being here. Andrea Hall Wagner, one of our great dietitians here on CTV Morning Live. And if you want to find out more, you can just go to her website. It is healthstandnutrition.com. Let's head over to Kelsey. Kelsey, what milk? I think you're, are you an almond milk girl, Kelsey? No, I'm a lactose free milk, but I do oh. love the chocolate milk. I yes. will have to say, I'm, <laughs> I'm very partial to the chocolate milk myself. It's 8:21. Good morning. One is 11 right now in Calgary.